Hi, I'm Michelle Mealy. Come and join me in the kitchen and we'll cook some food and sing some songs and have a wonderful time. So I was deciding what to do for another video and my husband said, well, why don't you do a cheese platter? And I said, a cheese platter? That's so silly. And then friends came over on a regular Sunday and we were going outside and she walked by the table and she said, oh, and look at your cheese platter. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so I said, oh, that must be a sign. So okay, we're going to do a cheese platter. I'm going to show you what we like to put on our cheese platter. This is Sicilian black pepper cheese and I like to put a nice big hunk out so that people can feel free to just take as much as they want and you leave the knife on it. You'll see how we do it. And then it's more casual and it looks prettier too. So close to the earth and off the ground. This is I got from the discount package rack, <laughs> ends of lines, and, but it's delicious. It's truffle um, cheese, Italian truffle cheese. And some of us already had smelled the truffle and had to have a little taste, so that's why it looks a bit different. I love provolone, oricchio provolone, and I also like it because of the color and it feels like olden days, so we can put a little piece out like that. Nice big chunk of Parmigiano because we like to eat and grate the same kind of cheese. So I think all you need on a cheese platter is some delicious cheese and then some nuts. So I like whole walnuts and I like to put it right on the, the cheese because, I don't know, because I do, I think they look pretty. And if it's cascading down, it's kind of romantic. <laughs> I don't know, I just think it is. And then grapes are always good because you have nice freshness with the, with the thickness of the cheese because these are quite um, strong flavors. And for color, I just happen to have these pomegranate seeds in my fridge, so you can sprinkle some of those all around and that looks lovely too. And then mix the green and the red there. And then we need a knife or two or three, put like that. And another cheese knife here, like this. There we go. And what else shall we put? Oh, we could, if we like, we can make a little plate of bowl of olives. These are all very strong tastes and would be perfect with an amarone. Mmm. Speaking of wine, there. And a sprig of parsley. Brightens everything up. And that's our cheese platter. Done. And the ratio is 40 to 1. So if your pot is this big, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 35, 20, 29, 30, 40. You have this much maple syrup. Yay! <laughs> anyway. But, um, we take four tablespoons of maple syrup. Canadians, I think, only use pure maple syrup. You will never find Aunt Jemima at a Canadian table. It just does not work. <laughs>